Hello, and hey. welcome back to the Mayor's right. Update. Well, what a beautiful summer-like day it is. The Mayor, short sleeve shirt. Couldn't ask yeah, for a better one. Happy. Nope. Uh, boy, we haven't stopped, so I'm glad oh, it was good goodness. weather. I guess we should start off with, with all things scientific and talk about the uh, the eclipse on Monday. Mm -hmm. um, I uh, was <laughs> with the uh, Volkswagen folks the last couple of days and, yeah. and certainly shared with them that we were St. Thomas was happy to deliver them a total eclipse <laughs> that we did on purpose and we'll guarantee them another one within the next 99 years. And I bet that wasn't even the co in the contract. That was just like a oh, bonus, Oh, no, no. Right? I went, they, some Above of them went beyond. Looking. Yeah, yeah. Right. You know, wastewater, total eclipse. <laughs> yeah, put it all in the contract, right? <laughs> now it was fun the last two days with uh, with uh, with them. Uh, mm -hmm. The the eclipse on Monday, the bus riding on Monday. Mm -hmm. We went on the new um, th the third route. route miss the uh, and a funny story. So oh, we, yeah? you know, we had some politicians on a bus, and 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 it's you know you know all the usual jokes about how hey none of you were under the bus. It was just <laughs> um, and and we and we had uh, some people in Boyaco, and we did the route the way it's it, yeah. well, it, it is, and it's really quite good to get people to work, and that's mm -hmm. really what the bus route was supposed to be, all the way through to Dorchester, turned around, came back, went passed by uh, Maple Leaf Foods again, mm -hmm. and then went to White Oaks Mall. Well, if there isn't twenty two people standing at the bus stop at twenty at, at, at White Oaks Mall, no way, really, um, and and because we had. Um, a, a spare Voyago bus because we had politicians on ours. Mm -hmm. We had, we could seat them all, but on a normal day, that's a 18 seat bus. We might have there'd been that's some incredible. cramping in, right? And these are people coming to St. Thomas at five dollars a ride to come yeah. to get closer to the eclipse. The most of them, some of them were actually coming oh, to St. Thomas on wow. return trips, yeah. but but most of them were. So we got to the transit center and yeah. they're saying, "Hey, where do I go to see the eclipse?" And I said, "I yeah. see you have a lawn chair." Mm -hmm. Set it up right here in this parking lot. Every place in St. Thomas is going to be just fine. <laughs> but if you don't want to do that, I pointed at the Talbot West bus at, yeah. the, at the transit center. I said, get on that one, take it to the end, and go to the elevated park. Oh. And that's what that couple did. So it was really quite a fun day. Uh, and then oh. came back here, got to see the total eclipse while having a meeting in my office. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, you, know, you know, just off to Toronto the last two days to, yeah. uh, to, to do supplier days for power co so 170 potential suppliers mm -hmm. had registered for this morning's start and tomorrow mm -hmm. there's like speed dating as part of it this afternoon mm -hmm. and tomorrow where you know they many have come and have already said what they'd like to sell to power co and mm -hmm. and why they think they're the best and that they can meet the timelines yeah uh, but then there's a bit of a speed dating process of mm -hmm. well who you know how are you what you know yep. are you sure you could supply uh, pencils and pens by you know next right. January whatever it is and so really great to meet a lot of people today mm -hmm. um, boy some real entrepreneurs in that <laughs> in that group too right but no to doubt have, to have spent last night with the premier and, and minister Fideli and uh, the chair of, of PowerCo mm -hmm. and a, and all their procurement people and some of them now hired on to be working here in St. Thomas yeah and then this morning at the uh, at the hotel with uh, that many people spending the next two days. So uh, right. wait, it's just perfect. Just perfect. Um, really a lot of fun. We've got a, some other announcements. Let's go to, uh, how about we hired a new city manager? Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, we've only, want to talk about getting that done in fairly short order. Yeah. Um, I want to thank Councillor Wookie, Councillor Peters, and uh, Councillor Clark for helping us on the interview mm -hmm. team. And of course, Sandra Schultz, our HR director, really yeah. helped a lot. Uh, so we've hired on Michael Bradley. The, mm -hmm. He is currently the commercial, the commissioner of community development in Brantford, but mm -hmm. he was the CAO of Brant County mm -hmm. um, uh, up until a short w period of time ago. And so he's a very experienced CAO mm -hmm. and really wants to come to St. Thomas. One of the best things I think Mr. Bradley said during his interview is, Mayor Preston, I'm in a place where we can get everything done we're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. I want to come to a city that's stretching itself, that's moving forward in a great right. way, in a greater way. I'm excited by the opportunity to come to St. Thomas to help you grow as fast as St. Thomas is and as sharp as St. Thomas is. So mm -hmm. I think we've got the right guy. Starts May 15th with us here. So we've got um, a few weeks uh, left with Sandra here helping. And then mm -hmm. uh, we've got some good coverage with our with our department managers. Mm -hmm. And then Mike Mike will be here and start running 
full force. But wow. as we all know, Sandra's not leaving the face of the earth. She's really just uh, down the road in London. Just down the road. So we can I'm gonna we can her. wish her well. Oh, me too. I still yeah. sob myself to sleep every night. Um, <laughs> but uh, and and we've become such good friends along with great mm. coworkers and a good yeah. team that she's really developed. We really didn't, we were making sure we're not mucking with that, that, right. that the team stays really solid and keeps on doing the types of jobs it's been doing um, and let this new CAO come in and kind of just absorb that up and, mm -hmm. and, and do some more things. So lots of fun, lots yeah. of great things going on. We got some good stuff this weekend too. Yeah. We've home, got some home show starting Friday. Yep. All weekend long. So if you've got, and and now it's talking like it might rain. And in talking to uh, last last week to uh, to Angela, mm -hmm. well, rain will drive more people out to the home show oh, because yeah. if it was this nice out, you'd be in your own yard doing raking and stuff. So yep. let's. I'm not hoping for rain, but please come <laughs> come 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 visit us at the uh, Joe Thornton Center for the home mm -hmm. show. I'll be there most of. Um, Saturday and Sunday, mm -hmm. and a little bit early Friday, but then mm -hmm. we have the Impact Awards, right. yes. the Chamber's the greatest best event. of the best in yep. the city of St. Thomas and the district of our Chamber of Commerce. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's always a great night to, to certainly meet some of them if you if you mm -hmm. get there and you haven't, you don't yeah. know them all. And most of us uh, know of many of them. Mm -hmm. But it's a great night to see, and there's a great guest speaker too. So. Fantastic! Yeah, yeah, absolutely. A silver medalist in the Olympics. Yeah, uh, uh, best-selling author. Now, I think he's probably going to tell us about how hard that is to do, and it was a pleasure to get there. Right? Yeah. So well, apparently a, he was on a couch, and then he was like, "I want to be an Olympian," and uh, then he well, became geez. an Olympian. I got up off my couch to come do mayor's <laughs> updates, and I so, guess there's still a chance. There no, you go. No, there isn't. Let's. Uh, <laughs> we talked about that. Yeah. Last no, week, we're so. going to do that. <laughs> um, and I'm certain there's, as we move through April, there's stuff every week. And so oh, the Horton like, markets having their maple. Oh, oh, that's right. Yes. Their maple and we're, uh, market. We're gearing towards the opening of Mayor, of Horton market, which mm -hmm. really hasn't really stopped, but no. it has to have a grand opening once a year. And that's on mother's day. So plan yeah. your, plan your mother's day is taking your mom out to mm -hmm. Horton market and, or going there yourself and getting special treats for mom, both work. Oh right? man, we so love, come like up. Jess and I and Lily, we all love the Horton Market. Right. Jess goes almost every single yep. Saturday. I'd go everyone if I could, but I've got to usually work on the Saturday. So well, it's always and, the- And I, I'm hit and miss as, yeah. as I, okay, do I, where am I going first, second or third? And how many things can I do sometimes on Saturday? Or yeah. occasionally, like you, mm -hmm. we take a weekend off, right? We, we say, okay, this is enough, right? Um, so much other things going on. If you haven't seen it, you'll see some more of this if you come to the home show. That, and and if you go to our website, this is the last of the booklets on our new strategic plan. So you can read through where we are, yep. what we've established we want to look at going forward. Mm -hmm. The thing that comes next then is the action steps for priorities like a thoughtful, strategic, and sustainable community mm -hmm. growth. I'm reading. Um, uh, thriving economic development. And, and, yeah. and you see what we're already doing and you get to film most of it. So it's <laughs> really a lot of fun. But oh, it's so now fun. we've got each of the departments working on what they think under those categories they could do going yeah. forward over the next five years. And now the council and the mayor start looking at it in the same way. What do mm -hmm. we think we can do? So really pleased to have that started. You know, one of my favorite things about that, like seeing yes. the, the project that is the, the city will come to me. And because I have such like an archive of 10 years of footage from around town, right. I can share the pictures I've been taking with them. Right. So you can create a better visualization. Yeah. This of, is right, whether it's city improvement of transit or yeah. it's, I mean, or uh, industrial growth and you've done a, a pile of that. So, it's so you, fun. you're right. We've got, we've created a great kind of archive of yeah. who we were, who we are now mm -hmm. and really what it might look like five years from now, 10 yeah. years from now and, and 20 years from now, we want certainly continued, advice from our citizens keep mm -hmm. telling us where you think we should head and what we should do um, there's also another survey out right now it's on our website and i think you'll also see it at the home show is a housing survey from our housing mm -hmm. group yeah what you know what we've done so far in steps moving forward certainly to improve the amount of housing in st thomas with market rent apartments and and our developers 
All of that is just mm -hmm. going smashingly and will continue to. Mm -hmm. But how many more, what more should we do from a geared to income? Those types of questions also. But also, yeah. it, it, and we talked last week about how close we came last year to saying 500 new homes and 483 was, was what we incredible. did. So we want your thoughts on on the different things that St. Thomas should do. And remembering mm -hmm. that St. Thomas delivers housing for the whole of Elgin County yep. also. So, Hey, what do we got? Anything up? We've got a shout out from Margaret McKnight. Of course. So hi, Margaret. I'm hi, glad Margaret. you're able to join us tonight. Yeah, it's great. And Faye Gall Gallagher is back. I believe she was on vacation. Wow. So. Well, we missed you. Yeah, we did. Uh, how do you get vacation? No, I'm just Oh, yeah. that's one of those things I hear about. <laughs> like, stories and myths. I looked at my summer schedule <laughs> this week and started to block off some mm -hmm. when there isn't uh, council week. I've got a really quick update on council agenda if we want to go through. Yeah, let's great. do it. And then I've got a question that Faye sent in that we right. can ask after you're done that. Great, great. So real quick, um, uh, fairly thin agenda, some more community improvement program for residential, mm -hmm. right? And we talked a bit about it, Council, how much we have got done. And we've kind of asked, can we track up how much community improvement dollars we've put and how many housing units it has got us? And we Fantastic. think uh, good cities work that way. Uh, there is a whole new parks maintenance plan. As mm -hmm. we naturalize more of our parks um, that are not used for sports mm -hmm. and other things, um, and uh, on either side of a lot of our walking trails will be naturalized grass rather mm -hmm. than grass we have to cut yeah. every week. So we, we look at planting, the first of all, getting rid of whatever might be there, mm -hmm. and then planting naturalized grass from Love common it. to our area. And so we were also named a tree city in Canada. For as the we second, should be. As we should. For the second year in a row, we're a tree city. That's yeah. how much we're planting. And there's some neat events coming up about our, our tree city. We'll continue to do what we need to do from a planting. And we've talked a lot about the replacement of the trees yeah. in Yarmouth Yards Industrial Park, but that's mm -hmm. part of why we're also chosen because we have we have a bylaw that makes us have to do this. Mm -hmm. But on um, April 24th, I think it's a Friday, nine o'clock in the morning at, at, at Pinafore Park, we're handing out free trees. Oh, wow. Well, until they're gone, but... but right. <laughs> Is that by the, the greenhouse there? I, I'm a kid Pinafore Park, and yeah. so I read it. <laughs> I expect that the mayor will be there ha yeah. handing out uh, trees. Uh, we're opening mm -hmm. a branch office that day. We're going to get to the root of the issue. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. I got all the tree <laughs> jokes out. We're going to leave it from now on. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so tree, tree city, all right. We bought a new fire truck. We've we've we have put an order in for a pumper replacement to replace one that is aging out of the system. Yeah, we've got it. Very right? good. Is that out behind of the the fire station on Wellington right now? No, we have not got it yet, but it is coming quicker than we thought it would would because we're, we're buying. They had one that was almost exactly what we're asking for. So, and mm -hmm. you don't often get that. Yeah. Right? So you're usually a, a year and a bit and we need a replacement fire truck and we'll need another one next year. Mm -hmm. But we're happy to say we got one. Mm -hmm. um, we had the last of the Talbot Street reconstruction updates from our, our construction mm -hmm. problem. We've got a clarification here. Sharon Montgomery Anderson is saying it's April 26th is the Did Friday. I say? Okay, April it's the Friday and it's at Pinafore Park. Perfect. Thank you, uh, Sharon, for helping me because I didn't have the date on my agenda. So thank you very much. But you'll see me there. We'll be uh, handing out trees. Two trees per person. Yeah. Um, so we got the last of the Talbot Street reconstruction that was mm -hmm. completed all last year. But some over this winter, there's some more street lights that went in, crosswalks mm -hmm. that went in, and and all the updates there. So it was a verbal update there. Um, we had... Uh, to talk about what a major arterial roadway class EA means. That's mm -hmm. what the four lane road will look like on, on mm -hmm. Highway 3 and how it's profiled. Yeah. Um, community Recycling uh, Liaison Committee, we had a discussion on that. And then a bunch of uh, asks for petitions and communications. There's a lighted up, turn jumbo blue and purple for uh, <laughs> uh, National Disabled Employment week. Okay, very good. All right. Uh, St. Anne's Festival asked us for a, a, are we, a pardon? Are we going to light up um, 
Jumbo if the Leafs actually have a playoff run oh, this yes. year? Oh, yes. No, no, no. I think that might jinx. The night of the <laughs> finals, we'll do blue and white on the Jumbo. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. But sorry, yes. St. Yeah. Anne's Festival? That uh, asked for a community mm -hmm. exception to, to be a community event. So they are, as they do every year. Um, and I think that is all that we had on the agenda, except for then the mm -hmm. public meeting on a retail uh, business holidays exemption meeting Ooh. for a couple of our local breweries yeah. um, to give them further exemptions uh, to mm -hmm. deal with uh, with sales on Easter Sunday and Good Friday. And okay. so we and that was passed by, by council also. So that was agenda on Monday night. And the week hasn't stopped since then. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. Up to Toronto, back here, all yes. over. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we've got a question from Faye Gallagher. Good. One of our viewers. And uh, it's in relation to one of the things Doug Ford has talked about in a video, she says. Okay. Um, Ford says he's against apartment buildings in residential areas, which is what will happen in Shaw Valley after residents took the case to the Ontario Tribunal and lost their case. Right. My question Yep. So I can understand better would be, is the Ontario Tribunal above what the Premier, she says, spouts out? For background info, the St. Thomas Council voted against apartments with our mayor being in favor. I think it was uh, six to two against two in favor. And she says everything was fine until the developer changed the original plans and the city council accepted the change. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased. Uh, look, and I'm looking for housing, uh, much like uh, I know the premier of this province is too. We've got too many people that are in precarious housing situations. Uh, what the premier said recently, and, and there was a large housing announcement today that helps municipalities move forward on housing. The, but the, the current argument, and I, I'm having trouble getting there, is mm -hmm. about four plexes. Mm -hmm. How can we've allowed three plexes mm -hmm. in, on, on any home in, yep. in Ontario and certainly in St. Thomas, and we've said yes. Somebody's come out and said, well, what about four plexes? And the premier said there will be many people who wouldn't want that to happen. So that's, and so mm -hmm. I'll just, I can't quote the, the premier, but I'll go with that. On, on Shaw Valley, mm -hmm. um, that's why we have the Ontario Land Tribunal, is when, yes, you get a lot of people who don't want something to happen in their neighborhood, and I understand mm -hmm. how traumatic that can be for the neighborhood, but they have to weigh, weigh the good that will come out of some 500 apartment units in Shaw Valley mm -hmm. as much as it will be how much it would be a detriment. And right. so um, they've been passing just about everything that is a plus to housing and a and 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 not mm -hmm. uh, shutting things down. So there really isn't a connection between what mm -hmm. the premier is talking right now about fourplexes um, being able to go anywhere at all. No, no exception. Planning departments. He's saying mm -hmm. let's not do that. We've already gone to three mm -hmm. to threes in in it. And if a fourplex fits well, our planning department will certainly look at it. Right, mm -hmm. and, and and we'll make it work. But I think that's what that conversation was. I'll uh, I'll do a little conversation with Minister Flack, who's really in the housing business <laughs> now, and yeah. and ask him if I'm interpreting it pro properly. Um, but mm -hmm. we need to build those 750 to a thousand homes in St. Thomas over mm -hmm. the next year, and they're going to be of every type we can. Can we turn more homes into mm -hmm. duplexes and triplexes? Can we build new stacked townhouses? Can we build new apartment buildings? Can we do what we need to do? Um, and can we have great conversation about it? As you, you've mm -hmm. witnessed, we do public meetings where we really ask the, the, the questions, but yeah. in, in, in many cases, housing wins. Mm -hmm. and, and as it, you know, I, well, we you... took a lot of crap about, about taking some land to build an industry, mm -hmm. right? I think we have to watch that we don't, that we fill in as much as we can. And this is where mm -hmm. three plexes and four plexes really come into play, where we're yep. putting density in our own community. Absolutely. And like the project that Doug Terry is looking at doing on their old rail yards. That's right. If you can oh. reclaim the brownfields. Right. What's this? You have something to add to that? Well, or? let's talk about that. We were, I was at a great, um, um, first of all, comedy <laughs> last Friday night, because that was funny. But Saturday morning, <laughs> also at the Queso Station, eight to ten different groups from Fanshawe College landscape design teams mm -hmm. that had been um, right, were asked to write proposals for that square, yeah. the railway land from 
Queso Station to Ross, from Wellington to Talbot. Mm -hmm. And with thoughts in mind that we keep as much park space as we can, that mm -hmm. we add as much housing as we can, and let's see what your designs look like. You should, when you give smart people with a blank piece of paper and say, take a look at this for us, right? Yeah. And all with the premise that the Railway Museum needs to survive mm -hmm. and be a key spot on that block. And the Queso Station needs to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. And that we get that St. Thomas grows with parks and housing rather than saying, I like it to be ugly looking grass with rail lines on it. That right? no one can really use because right. it's, it's brownfields. Because it's a brownfield and contaminated. So what a great, and we're going to have, we're going to have to do a show on that next week mm -hmm. or the week after, after we get all of those designs from those really smart people and uh, move it forward mm -hmm. and show them what other people are thinking. And I know Doug was there also, Doug Terry was there so that he could say, Let's involve, we wanted to involve, we got to do a secondary plan for that mm -hmm. whole area. There's still some landowners in that area that are not yet playing or not yet saying we want to play too. Right. And we really want to involve them all. We think that's how we make a better deal. Absolutely. If we can take that, it's smart growth. We've talked about it before many yeah. times. Fill it in. With the city. Yeah. yeah. Fill it in, but fill it in with something that's more beautiful than what is there now. Yeah. And probably more practical too, even from a railway point of view. So yeah. let's let's see if we can bring all of our heritage stuff together. Well, I mean, I look out the window here and we see Westlake Evans Park. Oh, beautiful. Could we have done better than leaving just some grass there on a on a on a brownfield <laughs> spot that used to be an old police station? I don't, I don't think, think could. we could have done better. No, right? it's I see every time I come by that park, there are kids playing there. No, there are always playing. Always. It's and just, it's one. Uh, Councillor Peters mentioned that the other day because he counts them. Oh. There was 22 <laughs> kids playing in that park this afternoon. Well, if you don't have stats, right? You know, right? We got so yes, we did the right thing. Hey, did yeah. we talk about it? Did we say, oh, I don't know. Why don't we do something more economic with that piece mm -hmm. of land? Why didn't we do? Why don't we um, we think about it some more? Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. I keep asking. I keep selling selling the fact that the answer is yes. Mm -hmm. Now, what do we want to do? <laughs> Let's say yes to something rather than well, we've always done it this way. Mm -hmm. Right, so I'm glad we're we're really looking at futuristic type projects and filling in mm -hmm. inside the existing boundaries of St. Thomas. We've talked about the Northwest and mm -hmm. and and area one, two, three, and four. We've got places to build new houses still, and we'll do that. And you right? can see it being developed over there. Oh, yeah, it's great. Yes. Um, and then Faye Gallagher says, "Thank you for answer answering. Sad but true for Shaw Valley residents." So, right, Faye. Thank you for your question. Yeah. Well, there's some empty land over in Shaw Valley still, mm -hmm. and I think we should use it as productively as we can. It's a pretty good place to live. With yes. really, right? One of the best locations. Right. You can hop into St. Thomas. You can go down to Port Stanley. Right. You're like that area. Well, you could have sat in your just... own backyard and watched Total Eclipse, but yeah. that's a whole different. Right? Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. And I was just out uh, here. Uh, where, where did you go to what? In the Parkette. Because yeah, I wanted okay. to get a shot. I try, I wanted to get a shot. Like they were saying, you the, should come up to the mayor's office because we're just peeking, <laughs> craning our necks, looking out the window. Because Sandra and I were having a, uh, a meeting, and I said, "Okay, okay, five minutes of looking at the eclipse. Let's go." And then did we'll you go, go to your balcony. To, yeah, well, we did not. Um, Are you allowed in your balcony right uh, now? You know what? I've never been allowed on my you balcony. Not, no, I no. It's I always been said that uh, we're not no. sure, Joe. And honestly, on a rainy day, it gets to be four or five inches of water on that balcony. But, right, yes, uh, we'd after, like to go out and wave. No. <laughs> after having a clean have, thing. Are we over a century here? Like, maybe, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think my drainage? new city manager might let me because I'm going to tell so? him I was allowed. That's it. Right? They'll so, never know any different. Right. If, well, <laughs> agree. Right. But no, I was just in uh, the West Blake Evans Park, actually. Right? And uh, I wanted to get a shot of City Hall and the clips and the city. And uh, I got a little one. I didn't get quite exactly what I wanted, right. but oh, hey, I it, saw uh, your pictures. I was quite pleased. I, yeah, got. it was. In the end, I'm happy, and people like it. So I think that's the main right. judge. Is if yeah. everyone else likes it, I'm like, oh, good. look, you're always harder on yourself, Graydon. Always, yeah, right? And uh, yeah. and do I want everything to be perfect, either whether it's housing want, like, or design or anything else? <laughs> But I've learned that if I can get 80% of what I think we're looking for and, mm -hmm. and satisfy some by saying 20% is off there, well, yeah. then it's a far better thing than doing nothing. And it, I've always it, found that getting it done on time is better right. than having it like absolutely 
perfect right. because it's actually more perfect to have it done on time. Well, we we've, we've been working a lot with PowerCo and, yeah. and Volkswagen, and it was at the supplier days today, and that was one of the big things we were smiling and saying to every supplier yeah. that was there. Hey, we really want you to join this team. It's an incredible oh. team in St. Thomas moving forward. Yeah, but if you don't think you can deliver, don't come and. Tell us you can sell us whatever it yeah. is. We've got to have the plant up and be fit manufacturing batteries by 2027. So, yeah. um, and it's like, you know, we didn't say, hey, everybody put up their hand if they think they can do it. It's, it's yeah. let's, let's, don't ask if you can't, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Some more comments on the Shaw Valley right. portion. Um, uh, Mark McKnight is saying, why not a small park at Shaw Valley? I think there's parks planned. If there's not one there, I think there is. But if the, but we're certainly, um, all developers are told from mm -hmm. in the beginning as to what, what areas will be parkland and what areas won't. Mm -hmm. And sometimes parkland is the last thing you develop because you have to yeah. bring in trees and, 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 and dirt and stuff. So, yes, there, look, there's no area of town that will ever be designed without a park. Yeah, and Faye's saying it was a nice area. Let's see what happens after the apartments go in. Okay. Well, again, see, this is what Mayor's Update is about. We get we gather all the opinions we can. Yeah. But uh, I heard some pretty good news from the developer there as to how they might develop that that block. So we'll wait and see mm -hmm. um, as we move forward this year. We'll uh, be pretty pleased to continue to have housing coming in St. Thomas. So. Well, yeah, and as someone who's going to be looking for housing, as the road comes right. in, it takes out our house. Right. You know, I want the prices of houses to go down a little right. bit because otherwise, right. you know, it's um, going to be and, more difficult. And Pay does um, share with us that there is a beautiful park in Shaw Valley, mm -hmm. and 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 I thought there was at least one, if not yeah. more, especially also trails. The Elgin mm -hmm. County Trail runs off the back there too. So yeah. that's the other thing we're looking for is active transportation parks. Is to do a lot more trails yes. in our community. Um, People are staying uh, fitter, and it's a far better recreational thing to have trails. Well, if you ever go over by Lake Margaret, did I say fitter? Yeah, fitter, I fittier. True. I guess it's the fine. fittiest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, if you ever go by Lake Margaret, you can see the people using all the trails oh, around no, there. It's a, Doug yeah. Terry Sports Complex. Yep, it's just a fantastic we to, region. We used to make fun in the morning if you got up real early in in Florida and watch the people watch, walk the beach. And it was thousands of people, right? Yeah. Out, right. Well, that's what we're seeing here in St. Thomas mm. with the Whistle Stop Trail, with the Lake oh, Margaret so Trail, great. with with as we connect you know, other active trails mm -hmm. to our park system, it's, it just is. I'm yeah. going to go this way today, or I'm going to ride my bike to here, and then I'm going to do that, right? Yeah. It's perfect. It's it's so good. It's so exciting. Yeah. Like thousands of kilometers of trails in St. Thomas. Yeah. And we'll keep going. Mm -hmm. We've got it. This strategic plan will tell us by guidance how many more <laughs> kilometers yeah. of trail need to be developed each each That's year. So cool. We now, also talk about the mm. area one, two, three, four. Yes. And we're doing something we haven't done in the past, and that's design those trails and parks as the subdivision agreements are coming to us, not yep. waiting for houses and apartments to be built and then saying, well, where's a good spot for a trail? Mm -hmm. We're trying to do it a bit backwards or i call it forward yeah right? let's plan the parks and stuff that everybody's going to want to have in their neighborhood mm -hmm. and and in our conversation with thames valley district school board plan school sites ahead of time too yes yeah we've talked about that a couple yeah. times yeah. that'll be really good so we had we just had an update from paul the ceo of the chamber of commerce who's helping organize the impact awards yes and the tickets are unfortunately now sold out oh so you can stand outside and do scalping yeah, <laughs> if you've got some tickets, you yeah. want to get some extra money because this is, I don't know, I'm biased maybe because I'm so involved with this event, but I think it's, it is one or the greatest event that St. Thomas puts on well, every on, year. Well, on that side of the ledger, on the side of entrepreneurship, on the mm -hmm. side of community involvement, because boy, there's some people on there that do a pile of work in our community. Oh my goodness. Right? Yeah. And For so, months. Well, the planning. It, their whole lives. And then, yeah. but there we go. It, yeah, you're right. It is... Um, mm. And a special new place at Memorial this year. So it's going to be the first time at Memorial. I'm really yeah. excited. Yeah. We're prepping everything on Thursday, and then the big shows on Friday. So right, yeah, there'll be lots of pictures. Uh, Candace Van Diepen's going to take the pictures. Great, so you'll be able to check those out. Oh, excellent! She always gets me looking fairly well. So yeah, like, yeah, no, she does yeah. a good job of that. Yeah. Me too. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 these community events something help me. <laughs> I, <laughs> There's, I don't like to wear a suit and tie, although this is a very special award night. Yeah. So I think I'll go jacket, open collar shirt, 
and, yeah. and, and get kind of halfway. I'm the mayor. I should look presentable when I go. Oh. I know Stephanie's joining me, so it's right. Well, I, I've heard some comments about me wearing hats on the mayor's updates. So you notice the past couple, oh, I haven't oh, oh, because oh, I'm trying to be more aren't like we judgmental. No. Some people are. <laughs> You look good in a hat. Uh, I don't, so I don't wear hats very often. I just think like, it keeps the hair under control. But I just went to the barber last uh, last week, so I think it was, yeah. it was all good. Uh, hey, does the mayor need to get there before so Friday? Jeez. It's finding the time. Angry bear, angry bear. <laughs> Book me something. Uh, quick question about the animal shelter. Do you yes. have an update on where that is at? Yeah, it's. Uh, I know it's gone off out for RFP, and mm -hmm. and there'll still need to be some fundraising. But start a start in 2024 at least, if not a oh, wow. pretty good project. Yeah, projected to to get it mostly done. So, yeah. I'll, I'll I'll ask before next week's show. Yeah, because uh, I am pretty sure. Anyway, yes, we'll find out. In our it's in our budget. So yeah, and then uh, Marvin Knight is saying, if you need trees planted, let me know. Scouts Canada does plant trees and she's got the scouting group great and we've been asking a lot of other groups to also participate of course kettle creek conservation authority helps mm -hmm. us a lot with tree planting and they don't always have to be in st thomas but we're trying to mm -hmm. we've got a lot of trees we have to plant in the next five years as a replacement for yarmouth yards yeah so we we'll know we'll do a very nice outline of that industrial park because it mm -hmm. makes it look better if you can do a lot oh, of trees yeah. it takes a while for trees to grow but we've got lots of parks that can use more trees and as mm -hmm. we talk going in tonight we're naturalizing some more areas in our parks yep. so if it's not an area that's naturally used for kids to play soccer or throw a frisbee we are likely to see more naturalized grasses and a lot more trees mm -hmm. planted in even if it's waterworks or pinafore park so yep yeah. And to just pop back to the impact awards, the videos yeah. that I'm producing with the chamber, you can watch some of the chamber's Facebook page. So even if you can't make it to the event, oh, see, sold go out. see who the people are yes. that are. Yes, it's, it's it's a great, great, great. Night. There's so many things, and there's new awards this year, like the champions of the environment, right. and of course the ones for the the organizations that are giving back to the community, like Tiny Hope. Yeah. There's a whole piece on there as well. Yeah. So. Check them out. We're getting oh, work. And some really good people who have been doing work for a long time. Barry Fitzgerald and some others. That, yeah, yeah. Uh, you and know, Marcy, one of well, your partners at Wendy's. Absolutely. But it's, you know, you, you, you each year you go, okay, yeah, no, who's the yeah. best of those? Oh, my goodness. The best of the best that, is hard to pick. It is the hardest right. thing to see people not win it. Right. Because everyone deserves to that's nominated as a finalist. All right. Um, and a shout out for the streetery from Margaret Knight. Excellent. Saying the food truck is great. All right, oh. we're, we're way over our Are time we? here. Oh, no. Yeah, and, yeah. I, and I'm so at I, Rogers tomorrow. I'm going to get heck. You're going to get yeah. in trouble. Yeah. So I got I to gotta pull the, All right, pull pull the, the plug. plug on this right. one. Yeah. But uh, again, great conversation. We miss Thank you already. Mayor. Oh, well, I'm glad we fantastic. both ran back to be here today and get this in. Yeah. And, and boy, we had, without a script, we had a pretty full show today. So great. Let's yeah. do it. See you next week. Back to Tuesday.